so far we've managed to log in and we know that we've logged in because we can see the user ID uh, there, which is in this case, our URL, so-called URL address. So what we need at this point is to display an actual name there. So instead of keeping the name inside the session, what we will do is every time the page is reloaded, we have to check in the database if that user ID, which is this one in this case, actually exists. That way, in case the record is deleted while the user is logged in, they will be logged out immediately. So let's see how we can go about doing that. So what I want to do here is go back to my text editor and inside models, there's the user class right here. So right here, we're going to create a another function here that will do just that. So let's go to the end. We can create this uh, function anywhere around here as long as it's inside the class. So I'll say function. Let's just call it check login. Of course, these are random names uh, of functions, so you can give them any names that suit your description better. So of course, we we want to look for the session uh, user URL, this one right here. So let me come down here and say, if is set, so we check if that one is set. So once this is set, there's a possibility that we are actually logged in. So at this point, we could just say return true or something of that sort. But before that, let me say return false down here. I kind of like the other color. So let me go to color scheme and change it to this one. I don't know. I like this one better. OK, so return false. Just in case this doesn't work out here, then we're going to return a false here now. Otherwise, we are just going to say uh, check in the database. So let, let's write a query here. Query is equal to, and let's write uh, select all from users. So we're selecting all from users where the URL address is equal to we're just going to call it URL here. Actually, what I will do is since we're using um, prepared statements, you're going to do that. And then I'm going to say limit one, something like so. OK, so where URL address is equal to URL. So let's add that URL to an array. So I will say array. Make sure it says URL here. And then we're going to say is equal to we're going to give it that value over here if it is set. And that's about it. So the only thing now is to get our instance, our database instance, and then read from there. So I'm just going to copy so I don't have to type this laborious uh, thing to type here. So let me go down here and I'm going to put that one there like so and then i will where is the database read so that's result database read there i'll do it like this okay so at this point db instantiated the query is there so let's convert that to query instead i'm going to put that query there and then instead of uh, data, we have array there, like so. And then we will say if, let's check for is array result. So that means we have a result here. So what we want to return here is the result itself. Now, the thing is, this thing returns an array of objects. So at this point, I will do that to get the first uh, result there. Okay, 
So if all this doesn't go through, then return false will be the thing that is sent back. Okay, so this is how we check for our login there. So let's go back to our controllers and let's go to the home page. Okay. Right there. So right inside the home page here, because once somebody opens the home page, it will pass through here, right? It will pass through there. So at this point, I'm going to say user is equal to. So I want to load. Um, I want to load this user class here. I'm going to say this load model. And then the model that we want to load is the user class. So I will do that. And then I'm going to say, at this point you could check uh, whether this actually exists or not, but uh, because we know it already exists, I think that's fine. I can just say if, um, Actually, before that, we have to evoke that function, which is a check login, check underscore login, like so. Mm -hmm. But then we need to assign it to something. So I'm going to say user, I'll use small letters here, user underscore data is equal to, because remember, we are returning a value here. It's either false or the user record so this could be false or it could have an array inside it so what we could check for here is uh, we need some kind of uh, consistency here so so this data object or this data array is what goes into the view so this variable is available in the view side so we are better off adding our data into this okay so yeah so what we could do here is this i could put it directly here and do that and then say user data here underscore data so that whatever is returned here goes into that data object there that way we can check for if this is this exists or if the user is logged in. If this exists, then we know the user is logged in. However, the problem here uh, is that we can have three values. So the first the first one is that if this is successful, then we are going to have some data there. It's going to be an array. But then if it's not successful, we're going to have false. And then there will be pages where we don't need to check whether the user is logged in. And in those situations, we're just going to have it not non-existent because we won't be assigning any value to this part. So those are three possible outcomes, which is not good. If you can, you have to limit to uh, the possible outcomes to two, which is either available or not, or true or false or something like that. That way it's easier to write if statements to check whether the user is actually logged in. So in cases where you have multiple uh, questions like this, where, where you can have more than one, it's better to reduce them to two or create a function that actually reduces it to a true or false statement. So here we're checking whether the user is logged in or not, but what we could do, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, let's see here. So if I get this one, copy this from here so that we reduce the number of possibilities here. So I'm going to put that one there and assign it to data or let's say user data like so. Okay, now we're going to put an if statement just so we only do this if actually we return a result. So I will say, if is array, if this one is an array, then add it to the 
to this part. So right away by doing this, we've reduced the number of outcomes to only two because there are two possibilities now. There could be that this exists and it, it's an array or it simply doesn't and we are not logged in. So those are the only two options that have remained, which is much easier to check for. We can only check, we can only check if, uh, we just need to check if this exists, then we know the user is logged in. 